It is on. Chet, edit this first part out if you would. Thanks. <laughs> Let's look at <laughs> trade discounts in a grid. I'm always going to make my grid with the smallest number on the left and the biggest number on the right. Okay? So, I'm sorry, I'm always going to make the biggest number on the right. Might not always be the smallest number on the left. But the biggest number is the list price, isn't it? That's bigger than the net. It's bigger than the amount we save. So the list price is the biggest thing. There's a net price. I'm going to do it this way. There's a net price and there's a trade discount. How do these three quantities relate to each other? If we knew two of those, if we knew the net and the trade discount, how would we find the list? If we knew 280 and 120, how would we find the list price? We'd add those two together, wouldn't we? The net plus the trade discount is equal to the list, isn't it? First number plus second number equals third number. All right? Now, there's always a number, a numeric value. In this case, it's a dollar amount. And there's always a percentage that goes with that. So, in this case, the list price is the base. It's the 100%. And it was $400. The trade discount was 30% and it's 30% of the list. When something's in parentheses next to something, that means multiply, doesn't it? This is 100% of the list. This is 30% of the list. So what does this have to be if first plus second equals third? This has to be 70% of the list, doesn't it? So, if we knew $400 and we knew that this was 30%, that's generally all they're going to give us. They're going to give us two of these six things. And we're supposed to know how to get the other four. The key is knowing where the 100% goes. Because when they tell us it's a list price, we're supposed to know that that's the 100%. So, if they ask us for the trade discount, we take 30% times the list and we get 400 times 30 percent, we get that $120. But what if they don't ask us for the trade discount? What if they ask us for the net price? Well, they didn't tell us 70 percent, but we're supposed to know that we can take 100 minus 30 and get 70. So we could either say 100 minus 30 is 70 and take 70 percent times that. So if we punch in 400 times 70 percent, we'd get 280. Or we could do this problem first and then subtract 120 from that. We're going to have to multiply and subtract or subtract and then multiply. We're going to have to do both to get that answer. Okay, so that's how the grid works. Now, let's use some numbers that we are not familiar with just to see how we're doing. What if we say we have a uh, $300 net price and there is a 25% trade discount. If there's a $300 net price and there's a 25% trade discount and they say what's the list price? Here they did not give us the base, did they? They didn't give us the 100% number. They gave us something that wasn't 100%. And they gave us this number. Now, the only things we can multiply these percentages by are the base. And we don't know that yet. So we're not going to be able to multiply any percent times anything. We can't take this times that and get anything meaningful. But we can find this number, can't we? What would this number be? 75. This would be 75%, wouldn't it? 75% of the list. What does a horizontal line between two numbers normally mean? It means divide, doesn't it? 
Well, that's how this grid works. If two things are next to each other, you multiply them, just like we normally would. Any top number divided by its bottom percent always gives us the base. Any portion divided by its matching rate always gives us the base. So, punch in $300 divided by 75%. If you have a simple calculator, you'll get the answer as soon as you hit 75%. If you have a scientific calculator, you'd want to change it to a decimal and then hit the equal sign. 300 divided by 75% is what? It's $400, isn't it? That's our list price now. And if they asked us what's the trade discount amount, we could just subtract, couldn't we? So we could say 400 minus 300 is $100, or we could multiply 25% times 400, since we know that now. So this would be $100. So here's how the grid works. Any of these percents times the base gives you the number above the percent. This number is 100% times the base. This number is 25% times the base. This number is 75% times the base. How many of you like little equations with one variable in it? Some people do. If you like little equations with one variable, here's a real easy way to work these things. This top thing is equal to this bottom thing. Right? They're both the net price. $300 is equal to 0.75 times the list. So the original problem would say $300 is 75% times the list price. Solve for list. We would divide both sides by 75% and we'd get the same thing we did here. Okay, so that's another way to think of it. These two things are both the net price. So this top number is equal to this bottom number times the base. So we could divide both sides by 75% and that would give us the list price of $400.